So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be making a Flappy Bird game. So we're going to be making a simple uh, Flappy Bird engine. And I'll be trying to do this as fast as I can. It, I can probably do it in under 10 minutes. This is a really simple Flappy Bird game. Um, so we'll be learning these following concepts in Scratch. We're going to be using keys to control the sprites, uh, custom block, broadcasting messages, and sensing block. So we're going to move on to the um, demo. So I'm going to zoom in. So you can either use a space bar, clicking, or up arrow to so like you just dodge them and every three pipes you dodge you get three points. I'm doing this because we have all three pipes in one costume. And if you touch the top, you lose. If you touch the bottom, you lose, and if you touch a pipe, you lose. So yeah, um so like if you touch the top, you lose. If you touch a pipe, you lose, and let's just fall. And you lose. So that's three ways to lose. So yeah, let's go. So let's go. Um, let's start a new project. Okay, new project. Okay, so let's delete the scratch cat. We'll not need it. So we're gonna um, also rename this thing to Flappy Bird. And I have I have uh, every sprite uh, in the backpack. So if you want to download the sprites, um, just go to the link in the description, in the Google Drive, and you can just download it there. Um, and we're still seeing a lot of messages on people, of people um, asking us for requests on the uh, access for the game. You actually do not need requests. You just have to um, use your own personal account to get into the Google Drive to download these sprites. So we have the pipes, flappy bird, ground, and lose. So you lose, you can just draw it yourself. So right now we're gonna do a backdrop. I have it uploaded right here, so let's go to backdrops. Boom. Okay, so let's delete this one. Okay, so now let's go on to the code for the Flappy Bird. So right now we're going to make a new block. Let's name it Fly. So we're going to name the new block Fly. And if we're going to need two ors, put an or right there, put an or right there. If key space is being pressed, oops, if key space is pressed, and or key up arrow is pressed or mouse down then we're gonna set we're gonna make a new variable we're gonna make a new variable called speed y so let's set the speed y to 10 uh and then we're gonna make this and then after that we're gonna set the speed y to negative two so like it'll just keep on going down after you go up so, oh, change, not, sorry, not set, change the speed y under here, speed y by negative 2. So that's the fall speed, and then we're going to change the y by the speed y, so just change the y by 10, basically. So change the y by speed y. And then we're going to get a one green flag clicked, let's put that under here, and zoom in a little bit. Um... Also, I said it wrong, so you're supposed to actually change it by negative 2. Right here, I actually accidentally said 10. So, so now let's get a one green flag clicked. We're going to go to negative 180, y0. That's what we're going to do, like somewhere right here. And then we're going to wait 0 0.5 seconds, just half a second before the game starts. So, like, all oh, the Flappy Bird will just be in place for, like, half a second. And after that, we're going to get a forever loop and call this function fly. And then after that, we're gonna get a one green flag clicked, get a forever loop. If if the touching edge, uh, touching right there. If touching edge, which means if it's touching the top edge, then we're gonna broadcast a new message. Let's name it game over. So this is an infinite game, so you can't win. So you can only lose. Um, now let's go on to the pipes. So for the pipes, we're going to get a one green flag clicked. And in the costumes for the pipes, I just um, took this thing, and then I just downloaded from online, and I made three different things like here, three different sets, and I made them different elevations, and then it's like a different difficulty. So make it a little bit more variety in the game. So after this, we're going to get uh, make a new variable. Let's name it score. And then we're going to set the score to zero in the beginning. And then we're going to go to the back layer with the pipes. 
go to back there with the pipes and then we're gonna get a go to go to 240 so uh, somewhere in here uh, X is 240 and then we're gonna pick random for the Y position maybe pick random negative 20 negative 20 to 40 and then we're gonna repeat until let's get a repeat until and then it's touching the flappy bird so this is a pipe it'll just repeat until it's touching the flappy board and then it'll move negative three steps so just move to the left and then if the x position is less than so if the x position is less than the negative 450 so we're doing negative 450 because the end of this thing right here the last um pipe um doesn't oh it's like if you end it at two four negative 240 it will just randomly glitch all the way right here so we don't want that we want all the pipes to finish at the end before moving so we're going to do negative 450 and then after that we're going to get a go to so we're going to get a go to go to 450 so the reset position after it's done will be like right here 450 uh, pick random negative 20 to 40 so you just duplicate that and then um we're gonna change the score by three every three uh every three pipes you pass because it's one sprite you can't just do one for each so that's why we could do three um and then after this we're gonna broadcast game over right here and then for the ground let's go to the ground one green flag clicked we're gonna go to let's zoom in a little Let's go to zero, negative two ten. Wait one second, and then forever. If the uh, if touching Flappy Bird, so if the ground is touching the Flappy Bird, then we're gonna broadcast a message called Game Over. Uh, and then after that, we're gonna go to the loose. So for the costumes, this is what I did. I just got um, two of these things I got from online and put them together. So like there's one right here, one right here. So we put the link in the description and the Google Drive to download these. So remember you can download these from the Google Drive. So after that, this is the this is the end. So we're gonna get a one green flag clicked. Go to zero zero, go to the front layer. Oh yeah I forgot to zoom in so you guys can see it better. Go to front layer and we're gonna hide. And then after that we're gonna get a when I receive game over show and stop all all right so now we're finished let's demo the game okay so now let's go full screen so i'm just going to use the space bar so as you can see the flappy bird is jumping and every three pipes you pass you'll get three points as you can see and you can even use the clicking you can even click with this you can even use the clicking settings oops I accidentally clicked off the screen so it's glitching now. Let me refresh the page and then we'll come back. Okay, so now we refresh the page. Let's see. It. So sometimes it will fall too fast and glitch a little bit. Um, so you can add a little bit more wait time if you'd like. Um, right here, so let's stop this. You can add a little bit more wait time. Maybe let's add one second instead of 0 0.5. So then now you have a little bit more wait time. So yeah. You can see it's fully functioning and as you can see every time the pipes will change its position the y position so yeah that's pretty much the game flappy bird so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial bye